today we watched. Fright Night. And what are your thoughts about Fright Night, Miley? It was very interesting. Yeah? Um, there Did were, it was, I, I liked it. I liked it. Liked it? I liked it. I liked it. Did you love it? Yes. Okay. Like, it's hard to explain. Okay, what was your takeaway? What, is, what do you mean? Like, it, what, you know, what do you think about it overall? Um... Some of the moments that might have stuck with you. And it was very interesting. I already said that. Um, it, there were, it was like, there was a few times you were like, okay. But it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't like the film's fault. Like the film was good. It was like, okay, what is, what's this guy doing? It was like, what is this guy planning on doing, you know? Right, talking about the vampire? Yeah. Dandridge. Actually, a little bit Peter, too. Like what is she, what is she, actually a little bit Charlie too? Like what are you what are you gonna do? You know, right? Like they were it was all, almost like they were kind of forced into it though, Charlie yes. and Peter. Yes, they were. Uh, if you well, haven't seen Fright Night, we might have a little couple spoilers. Yeah, here. Peter kind of wasn't. It was kind of Peter's fault. Not Peter, Vin, Charlie. Yeah, I said Vincent. It was kind of Charlie's fault that they were all in this mess in the first place. Because like he said, he said I didn't want to kill you. Right, but, but he like he kind of like was like spying on him. He told the police about him. I'm not on the vampire side here, but I'm saying but, that it all could have been prevented. But if you saw that yourself, what would you do? Probably call the police. But and then the police would be like, "Oh, really? There's a vampire next." No, door? I'd tell my mommy first. And then she okay. Believe me, <laughs> and then I go to the police. <laughs> <laughs> so you tell your mom. Yeah. She believes you. Oh. So so your mom just believes you that there's a vampire. Yeah, next and then door. we never deal with him again. Then we don't. Then we don't die. Right. Simple. Do you think I would believe you? I think that you would try to pretend to believe. Me, I would try to believe you. He'd like pretend. He'd be like, yeah, yeah. I would a Peter Vincent it up a little bit. He'd be like, yep, I believe in vampires. What? <laughs> well, I know, like in a movie like this, every character is really good. Yeah. But do you have a favorite? Evil Eddie. <laughs> evil Eddie. <Evil, laughs> I love Evil Eddie. <laughs> You're so cool, Brewster. <laughs> He's so funny. Did you like him even after he turned? It was funnier. I, somehow I was still rooting for him. I was like, what am I doing? Why am I rooting for the bad oh, what guy? What am I going on? Uh, what would you think of Peter Vincent? Roddy McDowell. He was awesome. He's very funny. Yeah. He was exactly like where like the horror host was like, I'm not scared. But at the same time, he, he, he was like, I'm not scared of anything. Yes, I am. <laughs> right. I ain't leaving my house. Right. You already tricked me once. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, well, you did, but <laughs> and that then was all right. In this house, he had all those cool homage to yeah, the monsters yeah. and yeah, all the other really vampires. Cool. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool set decorating. Yeah, for sure. And they made it feel like he was really a horror host. Yeah. Also, it's kind of a thing where there were horror hosts in the 70s and 80s because they were on local channels. And yeah. so that's kind of an homage to a really cool time. Yeah. And be way before the 70s and 80s, but... That's what I remember. We had local horror hosts in Michigan. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like the ghoul and mm -hmm. son of ghoul and people like that. Um, what, and you liked Amy? I did like Amy. Although she did frustrate me many times. There's a few times I would go, no, Amy! <laughs> right. <laughs> um, like, when she absolutely wouldn't believe him in any way, shape, or form, no matter what he said, and she, like, wouldn't deal with it. She was like, absolutely not. Like, but could you see at all, like, what her point... I could see, like, when she was, when he was, like, ignoring her a little bit, but he was, obvi like, the first the, se the first time when he was, like, looking at the window, he was obviously focused on something. And something's happening. Like, something's happening. Like, you gotta be a little concerned, especially if you've been dating him for a year. You gotta know he's not a normal kid. Right. He's not gonna be normal about... Right. Normal things, I don't know. <laughs> right, right. And, uh... So, did you have a favorite scene? It's hard to say, but or a couple. I have I have one like favorite like moment. Okay. It's when they were like it's when like he like steals Amy and they're sitting outside the club and then it's like they're riding away and it's just so freaking funny because it's like it's like you're all like and then it's like oh there's that right, and yeah. he's in the back and he's, he's, he's like, like <laughs> he's like <laughs> what is it. He's like in your face or whatever. <laughs> yeah, um, it was really funny. But my favorite scene um, is probably the last scene. It's a good ending. The, f the final scene, not like the final final scene, but like the the whole build the up. Whole, like the like the whole like after he goes to Peter Vincent's house was like my favorite. Like I couldn't I couldn't narrow it down. After. Did you think that Peter wasn't gonna show up? I was a little nervous. Did you Did you think that he might not show up? I was for a second. 
Yeah, I was Charlie like, has to do this by himself. I was, I was, I almost said that. I was like, oh my god, they're gonna make him do this by himself. I'm like, he's gonna die. <laughs> and then he has the little heroic. Yeah. He yeah. finds it within himself to. When they said, when he was like, when he was like, oh, he doesn't, he, he doesn't, he's he's awake during the daytime. Billy, Billy's, Billy's human. I was like, oh no, he's not human, is he? <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna be human. <laughs> what do you think of the relationship between Billy and Dandridge? <laughs> if it wouldn't have been the whole Amy thing there there might have been something going on there a little, a little questionable there, when, uh, at first I was like trying I was like they're just buddies they're friends they're pals and then he goes and then he like and then Billy shows up and he was all like and I was like nope they're not pals <laughs> they're <laughs> pals <laughs> but then it was like the whole Amy thing and it like threw me for a little loop and I was like okay so he's so like it's like it's questionable it's like so he had the love of his life it's a vampire have any kind of nice. care about what gender you are at all? <laughs> yeah, it's, what is right? You never know because it could be like because it could be like that was his lover from years ago, right? And then Billy is Billy, right? Actually, I stand Billy a little bit. He was kind of awesome. Not yeah, lie. you were liking Billy. You kept saying <laughs> stuff about it. He was funny. He was great. He was protective. He was like, nah, brother. He he did a good job too. He did a good job at hiding the fact that that his buddy was a vampire, right? Um, if I. If I had to, if I had a buddy as a vampire, I would really hope that they would be like Billy. Nice. Because <laughs> Billy was a good buddy. Well, hopefully that never happens. Well, come on. I mean, I don't, <laughs> don't want to play that. <laughs> what about the score and the soundtrack? Oh, it, it was, it was really odd. It was like, it was like a disco, but at the same time it was like suspenseful, but at the same time it was like, should I get up and dance? Right. But it was also like, oh my god, what's gonna happen next? And then the songs in the club, you were digging on those. Oh yeah, those were awesome. Like the '80s synth. Except stuff. I was really angry during that scene, so it was hard. <laughs> it was like it was like, oh yeah, ugh. Where were you angry? Because that's really weird. That's creepy. What? Jerry, that's creepy. He was like, you don't know how Amy. So he like he like mind he like mind controlled Amy to go over there and like dance sexually with him. Right. And she's like and she's in high school. Max seventeen, eighteen. Right. And he's like at least a hundred and five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got a good point. You got like a good that's point. creepy, and I know. I mean, I know that. I know that they. I, I know things were a little different back then, but I know right. they weren't like. I know that's still creepy. <laughs> right. Like, come on. And then he like kissed her, like and I was like, "88 age difference isn't. It's never going to be acceptable." No, come on. <laughs> she could have been like 21, and I still think it was creepy a little She's bit. She's 21. He's 147. <laughs> <laughs> so overall, fright night. I liked it. Yeah. Like I said I liked it. Thumbs, There's, two thumbs, I way up. Thumb. And a half, maybe. Thumb and a half. Thumb and a half. Why is the half sort of pointing down? Okay, there we go. <laughs> it was it was good. I liked it, but it was a, there. There was just a few moments. Also, the vampires were really creepy. The what was? The vampires. They were not cute vampires. And I Quite a few cute. jump scares that I had oh, sort of yeah. forgotten about. <laughs> uh, they they were supposed to be cute vampires. Like, oh my god, that vampire is cute. Wait, so no, <laughs> no, no. They weren't supposed to be cute vampires. No. He's he's a pretty good looking guy before he vamps out. He's yeah, but that's like vampires are like supposed to be like appealing. This supposed to be like the cute monster. I mean, even David has his moments. Yeah, but he's David when he vamps no, out. Okay. The Lost Boys. No, wait, I'm not even. That's not David's. Not even the one. Oh yeah, it's uh, <laughs> Dwayne. Dwayne <laughs> of the Lost Boys. But he has a scene where he Dwayne's out. Dwayne does Dwayne out, and that scene is that okay. Listen, I find du I find Dwayne. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna continue talking about this. Cause I don't care. I find Dwayne attractive throughout the whole movie. Paul is only attractive when he vamps out, brother. That is <laughs> that is an attractive vampire. <laughs> that's that's what Jerry was supposed to be. But then they were like, "Ah, you thought." What about Michael? Does he count as yes. a vampire? No, even when he vamped out, he was he was pretty good looking too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what? This is like a thing that you probably don't know that people debate Lost Boys versus Fright Night. And I'm always torn on it. I gotta admit, I lean a little bit to Fright Night, but I think it's because I saw it first. Well, it's okay. I can lean a, bit, a little bit towards Lost Boys because it's one of my favorite movies of all time. I love Lost Boys to pieces. When usually when people but say. But I also seen Lost Boys first. Right. Usually when people say Fright Night versus Lost Boys, I just write both. Mm -hmm. I wuss out and mm -hmm. write both. That's but so I do weird. have a tiny. A tiny little leaning towards Fright Night because, you know, I was 13 or 14. Yeah, so. that's fair. I seen that one first, too. Yeah. I seen Lost Boys first. And right. I love Lost Boys. It's got a really special place in my heart. And I love, 
And like, again, it's gonna which one you've seen first is going to kind of translate the difference of how you see vampires, and that's going to um, completely right. different Skewer how you it. feel about the other one. But then again, there were some similarities. There's some similarities, and aren't the mo- aren't they a lot different? They are totally. They're not different. the same kind of movie. No, because Fright Night. There's no teenage vampire. Well, okay. There's no. That's not based around teenage vampires. You're right. It's not like a squad of you know, teen vampires. No. There's, it's a there's difference. Yes, but they're both comedy horrors and they both work really well. But I did find a few simulators that I pointed out during, like when Ed was talking to um, Charlie, and he was like, he was like, um, garlic, blah 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 blah. Right. Blah blah blah. blah. And then when um, what's his name? Oh, when Peter Vincent. Peter Vincent was like, well, if we g- kill him. They're, they're gonna go back to normal, right? And that was the same thing that happened in um, Lost Woods, which once again could just be like a vampire thing. That yeah, part I, of the yeah. vampire lore of. But uh, even I, some of those things are present in the 1931 Dracula, like the mirror yeah, yeah. and um, the garlic. Yeah, well, of course, everybody knows about the mirror. You can't say vampire reflection. The cross. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you gotta have faith, guys. If you're a character a vampire, you better be faithful. That's right. Um. <clears throat> But like I, 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 he was like garlic, and I was like that doesn't work, because Paul has the only one line where he talks to the frog village, and he's like that don't work like that, bud. <laughs> and then they're like, we'll try holy water. But we don't even know if that worked on Dandridge no. because Peter he Vincent didn't have real water holy water. Because he's yeah, a freaking fake. Yeah, but then he wasn't. No, he did good. He did great. I am kind of a fake, actually. That's why I've never killed a vampire. <laughs> First time for everything. Yeah. Ah, just kidding. So, <laughs> Fright Night overall, One, really dug it. I, dug liked it. I it thought it was good. It got me a few times, which I was happy about because I was I was trying I was trying to get a few scares. That's why I chose which one looked the scariest. Right. It's fun to get a little bit of a yeah, scare, yeah, especially yeah. from a movie that's like forty years old. Yeah. Oh yeah. Always. And I'm. It's fun for me to see that it holds up like that for you to to get scares out of it and get everything that you know that I got when I was a kid watching. It. Yeah. I've, I've been, ever since I watched Dracula, Dracula's one of my favorite monster movies. Yeah. Um, I've loved vampires. Like, I've always loved vampires, but I've ha- I have, like, a thing for them. Like, since like Lugosi. Since Lugosi, yes. But then Dracula's daughter, is that what it's called? The yep. Daughter of Dracula. Yep. Son of Frankenstein, Daughter of Dracula. That's my favorite Universal Monster movie of all time. And then The Lost Boys is one of my favorite movies of all time. Right. I'll add this to the list somewhere, my favorite vampire movies. It gets, it gets added to the list. It gets added to the list, because I love vampires. But, so yeah, it was, it was really, I enjoyed it. So when I said vampires, I was like, this is what I'm watching. Um, All right. So yeah, that's that's that. I liked it a lot. I so, it. Fright Night, 1985. Fun flick.